What's up folks, how's it going? This is Watch. Hope you guys are all doing well. And today we're going to be taking a look at the battery performance of the Apple iPhone 12 as well as the iPhone 12 Pro. And we've been testing for almost a week now, so we have a number of recharge and discharge cycles on the phone. So hopefully it is a relatively accurate comparison. And we're going to be specifically taking a look at the performance compared to the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra, the OnePlus 8T, as well as the Xiaomi Poco Phone F2 Pro. Now just to let you guys know that we are going to be testing out the pixel 5 the note 20 ultra as well as the iphone 12 pro max once those devices become available so look out for that video in the very near future now first let's talk about overall battery capacity and specifications on the iphone 12 and 12 pro exact same configuration we have a 28 15 milliamp hour lithium ion battery this is actually slightly smaller than the previous generation iphone 11s which had around a 3000 milliamp hour battery and obviously with the smaller battery that means we probably have some improvements on the A14 Bionic SoC in terms of overall power efficiency as well as uh, software improvements that will hopefully give us similar if not better battery performance than the previous generation iPhones. On the Samsung S20 Ultra we have a 5000 milliamp hour battery. The OnePlus 8T is 4500 milliamp hour battery and uh, the Pocophone F2 Pro is 4700 milliamp hours. Now in terms of the charging parameters, all five phones have some sort of fast charging built in depending on what kind of power supply you're using. With the new gen iPhones, you actually don't have a power brick inside the box, but if you use Apple's 20 watt USB-C charger, you should be able to get about 50% charge in under 30 minutes. It's still using Lightning to interface with the phones themselves and we're not fully integrated to USB-C like on the other devices. On the Samsung S20 Ultra, with the included 25 watt charger, you should be able to get over 60% charge in under 30 minutes and with the optional 45 watt charger you can get over 70% charge within that 30 minute time frame and the OnePlus 8T probably has the fastest charging capabilities with this warp 65 watt charger that will get you almost 100% charge in under 40 minutes and lastly the Poco F2 Pro from Xiaomi comes with a 30 watt fast charger which will get you 100% charge in around 65 minutes. Now just for fun, I did do a quick little charge test to determine which phone was fastest to get to 0 to 50% charge. And uh, no surprise that the OnePlus AT, since it comes with a 65 watt warp fast charger, did it at the fastest rate at 18 minutes. Next was the Samsung S20 Ultra at 24 minutes. After that was the Poco phone at 26 minutes and the iPhones with a 20 watt Apple charger came in last at 28 minutes to get to 50%. Now in terms of wireless charging capabilities, only the iPhones and the Samsung products have that built in. Both can do 15 watts in terms of wireless charging speed and the Samsung in addition to that can also do 4.5 reverse wireless charging built in directly to the smartphone so you can actually use it to charge other wirelessly enabled device which is super cool. Okay so now let's take a look at our actual battery life drain test results. We like to do two individual tests. The first one is a simple video playback test where we use the VLC app on both iOS and Android to play an HD video on loop with the airplane mode on 50% screen brightness. Simply measure the time it takes to get to 100 to 0% discharge. Now the other test involves loading up a number of different applications you're going to typically use on a day-to-day -day basis and automating the process of going through those apps on a continuous loop. We do this via the shortcuts app on the iOS side and the tasker app on the Android side. Now granted if this isn't the most realistic approach to what the battery performance would be like in reality when you're actually using the phone but it does give us a little bit of control over the uh, test itself as well as eliminate any kind of variables in order to keep things at a relatively even playing field for all five devices. Okay so here is the overall runtime of our video playback test for all five devices and the winner over here is the OnePlus 8T. It got an astonishing runtime of 19 hours and 40 three minutes. Second was the Poco phone at 18 hours, 26 minutes. Third was the S20 Ultra at 16 hours, 48 minutes. And both iPhones got around 13 and a half hours of video playback time. 
Now, in terms of the, the results of the app load test, we got a surprising result with the Poco F2 Pro coming out on top. It got a runtime of 16 hours, 50 minutes, with not too far behind the OnePlus 8T at 16 hours, 12 minutes. After that was the uh, Samsung S20 Ultra at 14 hours, 52 minutes, and the iPhone 12 Standard edition uh, came in just behind that at 14 hours, 23 minutes. And last place, very similar to the standard iPhone, is the Pro version at 14 hours and 17 minutes. Now, in conclusion, if you're still uncertain about the validity of our specific battery life test results, one thing's for sure, we are seeing a trend over here where the OnePlus 8T and the Poco F2 Pro are certainly coming out on top. And given the relatively small battery capacity of the standard generation iPhone 12s, it can never really compete with the larger capacities. So you'll never find the same uh, video playback runtime and general day-to-day uh, -day use is going to be limited as well. But in uh, most case scenarios, you're not going to have any problems of getting throughout a 12, 13, 14 hour day with all of these devices. And keep in mind with our app load test, we're running them nonstop. The screen is on 50% brightness. All of the data connections are on. And uh, this is an extreme use case scenario. So in most cases, when you're not using the phone, it's certainly going to be uh, fairly uh, decent in terms of battery performance. It will definitely get you throughout any uh, day, no matter how hardcore of a user you are. But one thing that's going to be really interesting to see is how the iPhone 12 Pro Max compares against these phones as well as the uh, Pixel 5 and the Note 20 Ultra. With the larger uh, capacity on the battery side of things, we should expect to see better battery performance. So make sure you're attuned to the channel, have post notifications turned on, subscribe if you haven't already, and check out the description for more details about everything we've talked about. Big thank you to you guys for all your support, and we'll see you real soon in the next one. Take care.